Hi guys, welcome back to Simple Tech Working Van. While ago, Visual bring me this Sony audio amplifier to service it. Just to let you know, guys, I don't have any parts yet for this one to change it. But in this video, I want to give a try to see how it sound, to open it, to look inside, and to make a plan in which components we need to change. So if you have an amplifier like this one and you are planning to service it, stick till the end like that, you'll know from where to start and which components you might need to change inside in order to make it a good sounding amplifier. So without further ado, guys, Let's bring it to my working bench, let's open it and look inside to see the status of the component. And this is how look the amplifier inside. So I look for the joints, soldering joints, and I cannot see any work on it. So I will be the first one doing a service on this amplifier. And now we can see are already the original capacitors everywhere. And Sony was producing this amplifier between 1971 and 1974. So on the table we have a 50 years old amplifier maybe, or maybe less, like 47, 48, 49, who knows. But anyway, it's between 47 and 50 years old amplifier on our table. Also googling about the life of an electrolytic capacitor you can find here. Electrolytic capacitor have often DC voltage with high frequency ripples, depending on the type, reliability and application, as also design requirements by manufacturer and user. A good capacitor life varies from anywhere 10 years to 25 years or even more some more of them they really last also 50 years old and taking in consideration that this amplifier is almost 50 years old do you think that i still need to check the esr on this these capacitors i don't think so that i should check but anyway i'm gonna give a try so i'm gonna desolder to see the one that are more under the stress of the smoothing capacitors that are those ones so i'm gonna desolder a bit this wires over here and i'm gonna give also a test with this uh, cheap chinese yes are meter it's not that accuracy but anyway we can have an idea how high is the asr on this capacitor and how many voltage loss have so let me desolder these two wires over here and we're gonna measure the asr connect this wire to the capacitor and try to measure a bit this ESR to see how bad they are. As I say, accordingly with what Google say that the capacitor rests somewhere 10 to 25 years, someone 50 years, I even not should do this one. But anyway, I'm curious to see. So you can see we have a voltage loss of 1.6% and the ESR is 0 0.20 ohms. So it's quite bad for a capacitance of 5 thousand microfarads it's quite bad so now we're gonna start doing a list go through all the capacitor making a list and i'm gonna try to see really good capacitor ordering from mouser and definitely i'm gonna come with another video when we're gonna do all the capacitor replenish on this amplifier so let me solder back the wires here and we're gonna give a try like that so we're gonna attach the cap uh, the speakers and i'm gonna put it inside a signal and let's see how that sounds here we go i turn on the amplifier and i connect the speakers and i have the microphones over there that they were gonna record us straight away from the speakers so let's play a sound now
should amplify it. Doesn't sound bad also with the old capacitor on. But definitely I will gonna change all the electrolytic capacitor because how we can see also searching on Google how long lasts the capacitor. They say 10, 25 years old. The amplifier has almost 50 years. So this capacitor inside are good to take out and chuck them in the bin. I noticed that the potentiometer and the contact are dirty. They make noise. I'm gonna use WD-40 to see if I can clean those one to don't have any more that kind of noise. Or otherwise I'm gonna try with this one, a better product which is Dioxid D5. And I'm gonna see how it gonna work to clean all these contacts and the potentiometer. If you have any question about this project, about this amplifier, if you want to know more, please don't forget to leave your comment down below and I will be more than happy to answer your question. If you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to put a like down there and please don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell like that you'll not miss the next video when I'm gonna receive the capacitor and I'm gonna start changing all the capacitor on that uh, amplifier because as I mentioned on the beginning of the video, I don't have any parts, I just wanted to see how it is inside to make a list and then to go on mouser and order all the capacitors. And until the next video guys, my cat, you're gonna say bye bye guys and see you with the next video.